Hello everyone, welcome to the Dirt Floor Fab YouTube channel. In this video we're going to be talking about a couple things that are boost related. The biggest one is going to be wiring and routing a 3 port like a 4 port. Most people won't have both of them, most people would choose to use this but there's obviously a specific reason why I'm not using it being that the valve is bad. But we're also going to get into uh, a workaround on the Terminator X um, nitrous duty cycle as boost control which wasn't my idea it was a friend of mine um, I'll tag his YouTube channel we'll talk about that in a second the shortcoming to that is that if you run as nitrous it doesn't like to because the nitrous is only activated while the trans brake is is disabled it won't do boost builder while on the trans brake so we'll kind of discuss some of that as well but mostly this video is going to be about three port like four port how i wired it and then i'll get into the nitrous setup on the holly terminator x and why i'm using it basically this is your turbo This is your reference port. So this being your four port, you run this reference to here, which you can tell because it has a, maybe you can tell, there's a screen in there. Anyway, you run that to the screen. The B port on this would go to the bottom and the A port would go to the top. So when people say three port like a four port, that would mean, I didn't think this through very well, I'm not gonna be able to draw lines to this. That would mean that you'd put this in place, basically the last port on a four port is the vent. This having a vent, which is out the front here, normally made to let off pressure on the bottom or the top of the gate depending on who has it set up so what people actually are doing with these are inverting them which i want to give a shout out for this this isn't my idea this is actually i got this idea from a guy named aaron mellow on sloppy mechanics and he said i think a local tuner of his or something did this and showed him it so um Probably not his idea either, but you can tell there's a screen in there. So this would normally go in there like that. Your pressure source would be here. So how they ran it, run it to run three port like four port is two is your pressure reference. Three, which is your old vent, would run over to your lower port. And one is dome. Now I've tested this and there's kind of a safety that he told me to test and I really appreciate him uh, talking with me about this setup and I run DOT Airlines just like he does I'll show you guys my setup so there's my three port you can see they're just like DOT push lock airlines and what he recommended I do is take like a blowtorch and take a safety pin, heat it up red hot, and just poke a little hole in there so that there's no airlock. Because obviously, on a three port, you don't have the exhaust vent anymore if you wire in or if you route in all of your ports. So, so far, 10% duty cycle with a my, my car setup will make like 135 kPa, which is roughly four pounds. Uh, on 10% duty cycle, it made 160 and was still climbing on the brake. 
Unfortunately, it's raining and I haven't tested it out to see what duty cycle will do during driving, but so far in testing, we've actually seen 30% duty cycles producing like 158 kPa and 40% duty cycle is producing 185 kPa, so it's somewhat linear. And sorry about my mistake there, uh, it's actually around 5 pounds, 135 kPa. What, uh, what I've read from this is it's not as touchy, it doesn't have a short window of range like the four port does. And um, it's smoother, I guess you can run it at 30 hertz, uh, which creates a more flat um, curve if you actually have like a ramp or anything that doesn't over undershoot. So yeah, so two is your pressure reference, three is your lower port, and one is your dome. My pressure reference is obviously from the intake manifold lower this one goes to the lower that one goes to the dome i had issues with my car and we'll talk about it here i had a four port obviously you can see here is loose um i don't know if i over tightened it but i put like 70 percent duty cycle through this at 18 hertz Anything from 18 to 20, uh, from 40% duty cycle up to 70. Tested power, this thing's not, like never worked out of box. So I don't know if I crushed the valve in it, but I took it apart and looked and the valve is jammed. So obviously this doesn't work. Um, and the only reason I had a three port and I was like, why don't I just try this is when I originally got the Terminator X, that was what everybody was saying is it's only dome pressure. So I bought these valves uh, thinking that I was going to do dome. And then people started finding workarounds for it. And um, I found one that I like and that makes a lot of sense. I like using the 1D tables in uh, the Terminator software because it seems easier for me to understand. And... I actually found um, a guy that has a YouTube channel that has a video on it and it's it's called uh, Terminator X without CO2 or something. I'll tag the video. Uh, the guy's channel's name is Boosted Bo Boostin Bo. And I'll, like I say, I'll tag it in the description. But he sets his up as nitrous wet progressive. We'll walk over here to the computer. And mine's probably not as professional as his. I don't have screen capture on this computer, so I don't really care to uh, get it set up. So, Nitrous Wet Progressive. Uh, disable at input one, which is my trans brake. And then you just do time-based frequency. And my stuff's kind of spaced out because I do a zero to a six second ramp and then uh, 99. So I haven't actually tested this off the brake to see what 15 is. I think I'm going to turn it down honestly because I might have more than what I need in here. I only have a two and a half bar map sensor. So I may need to upgrade map sensors. Um, what I was attempting to do and that didn't work and I didn't really think about it until later is I was trying to make a table that is nitrous stage one offset versus map to do trans brake boost obviously you can see here and what I didn't realize is that the main stage of nitrous is disabled when the trans brake is on so this never worked. The workaround to that is you have to use another uh, output, which sucks. I know this is a limited output ECU. And the nitrous takes uh, one input, one output, which also sucks. Or let me think about that. One, yeah, one input, one output. Because you, you need to feed the uh, MAC valve, obviously. But this has 
you need an arming switch basically, which which sucks. Uh, let me look at it. Yeah. Input one and the enable, which is 12 volt. Um, so that's the kind of crappy part of using it this way. It burns two outputs. If you don't need trans brake boost, then you don't need three, you don't need to burn the extra output for it. Um, but if you do need trans brake boost, which I feel like I probably may not, but I'm trying to look through the camera to read. My eyes aren't really that great. So here I've got a trans brake boost and an output setup pulse with modulated negative enabled. I configured it here. <clears throat> Basically this is, this is, this input will activate when staging input number one is enabled. TPS is above 70%, which you don't really need this. It can pretty much just be this and be fine. You go over here to pulse with modulated setup. You need to type in fixed, you give your same frequency so that you have the same as what you have on the nitro hertz. So I have 30, uh, 30 hertz, sorry. Um, table units, duty cycle percentage, and then it's map over duty cycle. Map under duty cycle. I apologize, it's been a long day. So basically, this was what I was trying to not get into on using like a, an advanced table setup to do my boost control because it's um you're really trying to trick your way around doing it the way that holly doesn't intend it until holly comes out with a map based boost control um or releases it for the terminator x anyways so this is redirecting the boost into the mac valve to the top of the dome until i get to a certain uh, map pressure and then it goes down to 10% duty cycle, which is what I'm going to try first I don't know what the 10% is yet. So it does work uh, I could only ever get like 134 kPa, which is what my spring basically will do on two-step and this had it climbing to above 150 uh, 157 so this works Like I say it burns it burns the outputs that you have left this is my input section. Staging input to nitrous enable. And then you can see my trans brake boost that I set up here. This is my stage output uh, for the boost controller. So I just have basically uh, output three and four uh, you know, connected together and then they go out to the boost controller. Um, the Terminator X only does pulse with negative, so I'm not real worried about back feed because they're not working at the same time. Um, one's when the trans brake is enabled, the other one's when the trans brake is disabled. So I, I don't foresee any issues, but I'm going to keep running it like this and kind of report back. But I just kind of wanted to throw it out there because I was. I was talking with Bo, which is the guy that uh, I watched his YouTube video, like I was saying about the nitrous setup or how he likes to do it on a streetcar, which is, you know, this way. And I, I had just figured out that my trans brake advanced table that I had showed you guys earlier up here wasn't working because it's, you know, this is, Sorry. Yeah, inputs, input number one will disable this stage. So that right there says that even if I put an a advanced table after it, it says, you know, this, this will activate when the, um, when the trans rig is enabled, it, uh, it won't overcome this here. So that's what I figured out. I kind of, I kind of uh, wasted a bunch of time testing and some money at the event that we went to last week and 
it was kind of over this. Uh, obviously, my boost control uh, valve, the four port wasn't going to work anyways because it, the valve was jammed. Just kind of food for thought if you guys have any other way around it. I know that some people can build a advanced table on how to just control this raw duty cycle over map. And I don't know, I just get kind of confused and and how that all works but the nitrous control works and it's a simple ramp you just you know how much duty cycle you want at what time base so you can use it as a time base setup and yeah i don't know i like it um we're gonna be doing more testing with it uh, like i say the goal is still to get this little clapper in the in the low sixes in the eighth and then probably start tearing it down for the front end upgrades for the year so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for liking commenting and subscribing and i'll see you on the next one hopefully we're at the track for it <laughs>